Alright guys, I wanted to make a very quick video on an example of an inverted fair value gap and the way that you will oftentimes see Michael use it. So, uh, I'm on, let's get on an hourly chart. We're on the NASDAQ and obviously it's up quite a bit in the AM session today on Friday. Um, so, sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency here. So this is an example of an inverted fair value gap where the price um, comes back up to it and trades through it. So here, obviously you have to be able to identify a sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency. Notice that between these two price points, only the candle body was offered. It would be a normal fair value gap if price traded up into it and then traded back down. But once it started trading through it and using it as support, to go even higher, it became an inverted fair value gap. The, the reason that you had a good guess it was probably going to be an inverted fair value gap is because we had buy side liquidity above, buy side liquidity here, and buy side liquidity here. Um, so you had a good idea that the, that the price was going to take this SIBI and trade uh, up and through it, okay, and invert it. So. I just wanted to make a quick video here of the way that you will see Michael use inverted fair value gaps now. Guys, it doesn't have to just cleanly trade through it that way as either. It, it could have done something like trade up and trade back down and then do like that. So either one of those would be an inverted fair value gap so long as the SIBI is taking you higher or the, the buy side imbalance sell side inefficiency is taking you lower. So anyways, guys, just wanted to give you an example here of an inverted fair value gap. Um, this has just been a quick ICT basics video. I hope that y'all are doing well. I'm, I'm currently flat, so all right. Bye-bye.